Honda is one of the most reliable car brands, right next to Toyota. That does not necessarily mean that all the cars are flawless because even the most reliable cars out there still do have issues. 2006 marked a radical change for the 8th gen Honda Civic. Honda gave the coupe and sedan a more of a futuristic spaceship-ish design that made this car really pop. It was recognized as a North American Car of the Year and Motor Trends Car of the Year for 2006. Although this 06 to 2011 generation is liked by most people, is it really all that reliable? Well, today I'm going to go through the common issues at the 8th gen Honda Civic so you can be better educated about what issues may come up on your ride or just know exactly what you're buying. So let's get started. The sun visor falling down because it's made cheaply. Instead of having the visor screwed in like a normal sun visor in any other car, Honda decided to make it attached by a plastic clip that just fails. Class action lawsuit Cooper vs. American Honda Motor Co. The lawsuit goes on to say that the Honda should have corrected the defective visors or at the very least they should have disclosed information about the defect at this time of the sale. Not a deal breaker but annoying nonetheless. Faulty rear control arms that causes uneven tire wear. Replacing the control arms is actually not too hard of a job if you have worked on cars before and it shouldn't be too expensive of a fix if you have to go to the mechanic. In the 2006 through 2010 Civic SIs, the shift from second to third gear grinds and also it can pop out. This also happens to other gears, but the issue mostly affects the second to third gear. Some people have reported that replacing the trans fluid and adding AC Delco Synchro Mesh fixed the issue. Others have reported that adjusting the clutch pedal has helped and even replacing the shifter bushings have resolved the issue. Now, if you are still having issues with the third gear, then you may need to rebuild the transmission and replace the synchronizers. The power steering pump fails, and it typically goes bad under 100,000 miles. In 2010, some Honda Civics were recalled because the manufacturer forgot to insert a pin in the braking assembly that essentially linked the brake pedal to the braking system, thus giving the car an increase in braking distance. So if you feel like your brakes are a bit odd, this could be a culprit but I don't think this issue affected many cars, so I would not be too worried. Just thought to mention this recall. Cracking engine blocks on the R18 motor causing the coolant to leak. The cars affected are between 2006 to 2009 and typically happens around 80,000 miles. Honda has issued a 10 year extended warranty recall, service bulletin 10048, on this issue but that does not matter anymore because it is outside warranty days most likely all affected cars have been dealt with the paint fades this may seem like a silly issue to bring up but it's typical for all the civics to have the paint fade in the same spots so this is more of a cheap paint job issue than people not taking care of the car's paint The engine mounts fell, causing the car to vibrate and rattle, and more often so the passenger side engine mount fails. But if you're replacing the mount, I would go ahead and replace them all. It's not too hard of a job to do. The airbag light illuminates because the occupant sensor fails. The sensor is part of the seat belt buckle itself, and you will have to replace that, which is a super easy job. All you must do is remove the seat with the four bolts holding it down and replace the buckle. That is it. I mean, even with all these issues, the Honda Civic is still a reliable car and decently cheap. You will have a few small issues, but they aren't deal breakers by any means, especially if you work on your own cars. And even if you don't, the Civic is a great car to start with. If you like this model, I would avoid the years from 06 to 08 as they have the most complaints reported on carcomplaints.com. So just think about that. I would try to get anything newer.
Stay tuned to see how the Civic lines up against the Toyota Camry for the same years and that should be up next week. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button and subscribe to keep up to date with my future content. This is Chris Automotivate. Always appreciate one another. I'll see you next time.